March is Brain Injury Awareness Month. Katie and Emma are joining me to talk a little bit more about traumatic brain injuries. Welcome. So we have heard of the traumatic brain injuries, you know, from car accidents, even I believe sometimes like with hard impact sports like football, mm -hmm. ho hockey up here, of course. Uh, but recently, that death of Bob Saget, which really brought a lot of attention to injuries that uh, we may have thought of not as serious in the past. Uh, for instance, you know, concussion. So how seriously should we be taking these injuries? Uh, we think very seriously. Uh, we're seeing a rise in all of these mm -hmm. in our clinic, in particularly. Mm -hmm. um, concussions can be very basic, um, just like a little fall or hitting your head on top of the counter, um, but really um, they can lead to a lot more things yeah, in the future. Injuries for sure. I just have a quick question. So how do you know if you have a concussion or not? You know, I'm a big racer and I know one racer, I ended up getting into, uh, a, I don't know if they wrecked into another snowmobile, but uh, she had one. And when she was going through customs, because it was an international race, she was being asked some kind of questions and she had no idea where she was at. So what are some kind of signs to know whether or not you have one or yeah. signs other people can pay attention to. Yeah, absolutely. The best thing for a concussion is to see a trained medical professional. Um, at Apex, we have a lot of uh, therapists that are trained for concussions specifically. And so other symptoms that we might have is headache, sensitivity, sensitivity to light, sensitivity to noise, um, just feeling off, feeling more emotional. So if, you're, if you've had hit your head or what other people don't know is that you don't even have to hit your head or something to hit your head to get a concussion. Mm. Any jolting movement of the head can create a concussion, which is a brain injury. And so seeking medical profession and making sure that everything is cleared prior to doing anything else is really important. Is there anything that maybe parents should know about so they can look out for their kiddos or maybe even their partner? It doesn't always need to be children that are getting hurt. I think one of the biggest things that we're looking at right now is second impact syndrome. Mm -hmm. So second impact syndrome is when you don't take care of the first concussion mm -hmm. very well. We don't actually get the proper treatment. And then we go back to activity a little too quickly. Then we can get something like a pool noodle hits us on the mm -hmm. head and all of a sudden we can't remember the name of our grandpa or mm -hmm. things like that. Um, so we really want to try to avoid second impact syndrome because that can lead to a lot longer, more drawn out therapies and um, recovery time. So when it comes to you guys here at Apex, you have a, pra a specialty area that you guys really focus on, and that is the traumatic brain injury and the concussion. So let's just talk a little bit more about you found out you had a concussion. They are hopefully there with you guys, the professionals. What are some of those treatments that they can focus on? Well, we have everything from um, dry needling, cranial sacral therapy, massage therapy, um, vestibular and vision therapy. Those are all really big words, so let's break <laughs> it down to what is happening because you just scared me <laughs> a little bit <laughs> off with that. I know the massage therapy, but what happens during those? Um, we're, well, cranial sacral therapy is what I specialize in, and that is a technique that just helps to clear the brain and really calm the nervous system. Uh, basically, our nervous system just gets so revved up mm -hmm. that our brain cannot flush um, the inflammation that's in it. Mm -hmm. So we just really calm the system down, we work on the tissues, and we really make sure that um, you can think a little more clearly. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have people that specialize in balance, coordination, uh, vision, like if your vision is really bothering you. Uh, there's so many little aspects and every concussion and brain injury is so, so different, different that uh, we really treat each person differently and uh, we find the right treatments for them. It's definitely a case by case basis. So if there is a situation that is maybe a little more severe than another, is how do you handle those situations when it comes to treatments? Yeah, again, it comes down to our evaluations as therapists, is just being able to see what's going on with that patient, how can we treat them in our clinic, whether it's with craniosacral therapy or hands-on therapy or vision therapy, things like that. Um, but we also have a lot of really good connections in the community. So if, you, if we feel that we can't handle the physical being uh, in our own clinic, we have a lot of connections to neurosurgeons and other counselors and cognitive therapy and speech therapy. So 
we have a really good network to treat the whole person if we can't do it own in our own clinic. Well, thank you so much. I feel like I learned so many tips and just ways to really pay attention if something does happen and take it to the professionals. So if you need to get a hold of them, uh, th here's your information here on the screen. Thank you so much, Katie and Emma. I hope you guys come back on the show. Thank Thanks. you. Up next, the concert lineup at Dakota Magic Casino is winding up. We're going to talk live for the show's promotions and their new sports book.